So today we'll be talking about the monkeypox virus, the signs and symptoms of being infected with the monkeypox virus, the transmission, how is it transmitted, the prevention of the monkeypox virus, as well as a treatment for the monkeypox virus. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Nikki at your cervix. It's your girl Nikki here and if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit my subscribe button, turn my post notification bell on so you can get an update every time I have a new release. And follow me on Instagram at Nikki underscore at underscore your underscore cervix for lots more interesting content. So, the monkeypox is a rare disease that is caused by an infection with the monkeypox virus. Yes, it is a virus. So this monkeypox virus belongs to this family of virus called orthopox virus. And it's um, the genus is similar and includes virus like the variola virus, which we see in smallpox, as well as what we see in the cowpox virus. So all those viruses are in the same genus of viruses. So it was first discovered in 1958 when two outbreaks of pox-like disease occurred in colonies of monkeys kept for research. The first recorded case of the monkeypox virus was in 1970 and they found that in the Democratic Republic of Congo during a period when they were trying to eliminate the smallpox virus. So now monkeypox cases in people have occurred outside of Africa and it's linked to international travel or imported animals to different countries and that's why it's being spread to different countries. So the natural reservoir of this monkeypox remains unknown. So however, they're thinking that African rodents and non-human primates like monkeys, as we said before, may harbor the virus and infect people. So what exactly are some of the symptoms you experience when you are infected with the monkeypox virus? So well, in humans, the symptoms of monkeypox are similar to, similar to, but milder than symptoms of smallpox. So monkeypox begins with a fever, then you have some headache, muscle aches, and exhaustion. The main difference between the smallpox and the monkeypox is that the monkeypox causes lymph nodes to swell, or what we call lymphadenopathy, and the smallpox does not. So what we call lymph nodes are what we, in Jamaican terms, we call that the wax and canal. So you have swollen areas in your neck, in your groin area, in your armpit area, and those are your lymph nodes being swollen. And we see this in monkeypox. And within one to three days, sometimes longer, after the appearance of your fever, the patient develops this rash, often beginning on the face, and then it starts to spread to the different parts of the body. So legions progress through the following stages before they fall off. So they first start as a macule, then they start becoming a papule, then they become a vesicle, they be then they become a pustule, and then they become scabs. A key thing to note is that the incubation period or basically the time from infection to symptoms. So when you get infected to when you start showing symptoms for monkeypox is usually 7 to 14 days. But it can also range from 5 to 21 days as well. So the incubation period varies between those times. And the illness usually lasts 2 to 4 weeks. So how is the monkeypox transmitted? Well, transmission of the monkeypox virus occurs when a person comes in contact with the virus from an animal, human, or other material contaminated with the virus. So the virus enters the body through broken skin, even if these broken areas in your skin aren't visible. So even if you can't see a part of your skin that is broken, the virus and a broken part is there, the virus can enter through there. It also enters through your respiratory tract or your mucous membrane like your eyes, your nose, or your mouth. There's also animal to human transmission due to a bite or scratch from that animal, due to bush meat preparation, or even direct contact with body, body fluid or leisure material 
or in direct contact with leisure materials such as through contaminated bedding. There is also human to human transmission through mostly respiratory droplets, so in the air. And the respiratory droplets cannot really travel more than a few feet. So you get it mostly through prolonged face-to-face -face contact. And other human method of transmission may include direct contact with the body, bodily fluid or leisure material and indirect contact with the leisure material such as through contaminated clothing of someone who does has the monkeypox virus. So how do we prevent the monkeypox? So there are several different methods that we can use to prevent the being infected with the monkeypox. So the first one, I'm going to list some for you. First one is to avoid contact with animals that could harbor the virus, including animals that are sick or that have been found dead in area when where monkeypox occurs. Avoid those animals. Another one is to avoid contact with any material, such as bedding that has been in contact with a sick animal. Another one is to isolate infected patients from others who could be at risk from risk for the infection. Another one is to practice good hand hygiene after contact with an infected animal or an infected human. So for example, you need to be washing your hands with soap and water or using an alcohol base and sanitizer. And if say for instance you are a medical professional, you should be using your personal protective equipment when you're caring for your patient. So always wear those PPEs. And as it regards to the treatment of monkeypox, currently there is no proven safe treatment for the monkeypox virus infection. However, for the purpose of controlling the monkeypox outbreak, they have been using smallpox vaccine antivirals as well to help to control the outbreak. But as of now, there is no proven treatment for this virus. So today, you learned all about the monkeypox virus, the signs and symptoms, the transmission, the prevention, and the treatment for the monkeypox virus. If you have any questions, drop it in the comment section below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Nikki underscore at underscore your underscore cervix for lots more interesting content. And subscribe to Nikki at your cervix on YouTube for lots more content as well. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. And thank you so much for listening. Until next time, see you soon. Bye.